Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again, but today I actually have the first rip of the league for me. Uh, so if you guys want to see, you can see here how I got kapow! Uh, but let me go ahead and play that again for you guys really fast if you guys are curious for it. Um, it's kind of just like a silly death on my part, although I, to be honest, had no clue that this boss even did anything. I mean, I've done it maybe like 15 times and I just had no clue that the boss even did damage. Um, I'm guessing what happened here is like he has or she has some type of barrage, uh, which was here. And you can see I was standing too close range and got hit multiple times. Now, normally I would have like 2,800 effective life, but... As you can see with this arc mine build, I was spamming basically arc mines, which depleted my mana to zero. And this is a mind over matter character, so you can kind of say, well, you don't get the mitigation then. So anyway, that was kind of my first death of the league. Nothing to really be said about it. I lost like 20 cows. Oh, well. Uh, but anyway, I want to talk to you guys about something a little bit more important because I do believe I'm going to take uh, a short POE break. I don't know if this is finalized or not. Uh, but I want to talk to you guys a little bit about that. So I've been playing PoE almost every single day uh, since Breach League, a little bit before Breach League. I did have a couple days where I took, you know, like two or three days off, uh, but nothing really too big. Uh, this is going to be my first time that I would like to, in, in like a little bit, maybe like six months, that I want to take at least like two weeks off. Uh, so before I go into that, I want to tell you guys what I'm going to fill that little PoE void with. My roommate and I have been playing Divinity Original Sin 2 uh, for, you know, maybe the past month or so on and off because he gets back from work at like 6 and he can't play every day on like me. Uh, so we usually play on the weekends, but we're actually almost finished with our first playthrough. So starting tonight, uh, I plan on streaming Divinity and we're most likely going to finish up our playthrough with our current characters today or in or tonight, which I, I have like a marksman that's really retarded OP that just one shots everything and he's playing like a melee uh, I don't know what he's playing. Melee Warforge is this spec called? I have no fucking clue. Anyway, it's a really fun strategy game. But we may end up redoing and playing through it again with Lone Wolf Tactician Mode for quite a bit more of kind of kind of like some added fun, you know? Uh, if I don't end up doing that, I will most likely be playing Path of Diablo. Path of Diablo is a mod hosted by Green Dude, uh, which kind of follows a bit of PoE's rule set with skills and item drops like Vol Orbs and whatnot. So um, it does have a bit of the Path of, I guess, Path of Exile stuff implemented in Path of Diablo. And there's like a Reddit for it, and you can search all of that stuff as well. Um, the reason why I really enjoy Path of Diablo is I never really played much of Diablo 2 as a kid. So this is also like a huge learning curve for me. It's not like PoE where I just jump in and, you know, I know majority of the content in PoE. In D2, I truly don't really understand how a lot of things work. So for me, going into the unknown is what makes games so much fun for me. So um, after that, we have Grim Dawn dropping on, I don't remember, I think it's six days from now. Uh, I think is it Wednesday that it drops? I think it's Wednesday. The expansion for Grim Dawn drops. Uh, it's like 40% additional content along with like, I don't know if they did a class rebalance, but there's two base classes coming out and they redid the, uh, is it the devotion system I believe? Which to be honest, Grim Dawn does sell itself short. It's basically a tri-class system. You have three classes. You have two main classes and your devotion, which is like, your, it's like an entire other class. Honestly, like if you guys have not checked out Grim Dawn before, this is not like a sponsored video. This is me being honest. I would highly recommend for you to at least watch the stream and just see see if it's your style of game. Uh, so that is something I plan on doing. Uh, I'm actually going to message Grim Dawn over the weekend and see if I can get access to maybe a few beta codes. Whether or not it happens or not, I'm not really too sure. And the purpose of that is just if you guys are interested in trying it out as well, I can go ahead and give you some free keys and we'll see how that goes. On a uh, short note as well, I am going to be trying to use my Twitter more often uh, via social media. After I got hacked about a year ago, it kind of like cut all of the connections from Twitter. And for some reason, even if I link it back together, it didn't post. That's kind of like a lazy thing, but it's true. So I'm going to try uh, a little bit harder now and make some posts every so often with what's happening in my social life, mainly just Mini K being dumb or any changes and adjustments we do kind of like this. Now, in terms of coming back to Path of Exile, because, you know, all of this would say if I play, you know, Divinity for a couple days or Path of Diablo for a couple days and Grim Dawn for one or two weeks, there's still going to be a month or two months left in the league before the new league. So what I plan on doing then is either 
I'll extend my break and we'll figure out something else to play. I have no clue what that is or if that's going to even happen. But maybe some ideas would be like, maybe Warcraft will come back for a little bit for like a couple of weeks until that dead time. We'll play some RPGs on there. You know, just really have fun, kick back and relax. Uh, maybe we'll continue Path of Diablo for like two more weeks or so. Um, I may touch up on some Steam games. Uh, I may play through like Terraria um, or just check out some other indie development games for like the next couple of weeks. Or... One of two options will occur. Um, I may go back to Path of Exile before the new league and start up on Solo Cell Found. Whether or not I'm playing on Hardcore or Softcore, I'm not really too sure. The reason why I bring up Solo Cell Found is that the main reason why I play... Actually, the only reason why I play Hardcore Path of Exile is because it slows down the progression of your character. Right? The economy is cool, don't get me wrong, but like when it comes to halfway in the league, you guys see me, I don't even want to trade anymore. Um, so that's mainly the, the main reason that pushes me away from softcore. Is in softcore, you know, you get a six link piece of gear, that six link piece of gear is there forever. You can't do anything. If you die, it stays there. In hardcore, if you die, it goes away. So for the longevity of my stream and just really enjoying the game, I naturally will veer over to hardcore because it adds more content. And that has nothing to do with selling out, it's just truly. If you want to get more enjoyment from a game, you don't want to burn out of it. So for me, I play hardcore. But it's gotten to the point in the league where I can pretty much make any character I want, including I could just go buy a headhunter if I needed to. And it, it gets kind of boring at that point, you know? So uh, that's kind of why I'm taking a little break. And I'm thinking if I go back, I might play Solo Self Found. And again, whether I play Solo Self Found Hardcore or Solo Self Found Softcore, I haven't really decided. I think if I play solo stuff on hardcore, I might even get more burned out because it's going to limit my build diversity up until I've grinded quite a bit and acquired some items. Whereas in softcore, I could start as kind of like a weird clunky build and transition to whatever I want with minor penalties compared to hardcore. Also, I think it's just kind of cool to jump into the mind of a softcore player since I haven't played softcore POE and really I haven't, I don't even know. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. You know, as always, I just want to keep you guys updated. I always want to be real with you guys. I'm not here to do anything, you know, otherwise. There is a slight thing as well I forgot to add in. I may do some sponsored content on the YouTube. It would just be like a video or two and you'll see it sponsored in the title. Um, this is because when I first started streaming, it was my original goal to be an MMO hopper and just go from MMO to MMO to MMO to MMO. That's honestly what I wanted to do for the longest time because that's where I have the most fun and enjoyment is going to the MMO and soaking up and learning. Never in my life did I expect to be playing action role playing games for a living because I, it was never really my main genre. And now I'm getting uh, messaged by a lot of, I guess, older MMO developers and stuff who are offering, you know, to basically pay me to promote their game. Now, if I do not agree with their game or I do not like their game, obviously I cannot promote it. But if I think that there's a game that has potential and, you know, I don't feel like I'm scamming my viewers, I'll be more than happy to take over, like, a sponsored deal, even if it's for, like, a day or even just a stream or even just a YouTube video. And one thing I need to explain to you guys that I want you guys to understand is if you get paid X amount of money for a quick video, which is a small amount of your time, that, that amount of money that I raise to make a video that is 15 minutes long could literally pay for a new graphics card to upgrade my computer. So this is something in the long run you need to look at as well, is like financial security. People often don't realize that. I know like a lot of, it's, it's kind of hard to understand this because we all just meme and joke around on the internet. But you know, surviving in the real world and building up a set, you know, income is, is very important as well. So I hope you guys kind of understand that. Now, I, I'm not saying this is 100% set in stone or not. I'm just being, you know, vocal with you guys, letting you guys know what's going on on the channel. But that's pretty much about it. No hidden surprises or anything. So hope you guys have had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And as always, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash fox. Hope to see you guys at TwitchCon. I'll see you boys all tomorrow.